With nice new uniforms, it makes them feel good. It builds their confidence and self-esteem, and it makes them, again, want to come out and play a little better. A Northern Kentucky High School asked for help to pay for new football uniforms, and not only did the community respond, so did rivals from other schools. Good evening. The response to that plea for help by members of a local high school football team, it's been incredible. Yeah, generous donations from all over the tri-state. Raised $18,000 just a couple of months. The Greenville, uh, the Green Devils from Dayton are going to take the field later this month. Brand new jerseys and pants for the first time in seven years. And as Joe Webb tells us, some of the donations came from some pretty surprising places. Not one of these Dayton players, even the four-year starters, have played a varsity game in a new uniform. For the last six seasons, they've worn patched up, scratched up, hand-me-downs full of holes. But it's a new season in Dayton. Thanks to a grassroots fundraising campaign we first told you about in February, they'll be wearing these brand new uniforms this season. Top quality, embroidered, not screen printed. Great stuff and a lot more of it than they expected. Two sets of pants, three jerseys, and then they like said the kids will have uh, two shirts and shorts to wear for walkthroughs and things like that, and then a compression shirt to wear under the jerseys for the games as well. The black alternative jersey will be worn for special games like this year's 50th anniversary of Dayton's state championship season. The seniors want to open the season with black on black. The new uniforms will debut at the Dayton home opener on August 19th against Bishop Brossard. Brossard is a rival, but a friendly rival. So friendly, that school donated $300 for the new jerseys. Just the promise of new uniforms has already given the football program a lift. 37 guys, 10 more than last season, came out for the team this year. The seniors are ready to finally look good, but already feel good because the fundraiser showed people care about Dayton football. It just means a lot that we have our community behind us, That. They're coming out there donating money. We just got to win some games this year. It's an equality thing. Everybody else has nice jerseys. Why can't we? And uh, I guess it makes us play better, you know? They're really nice jerseys, and uh, I think it's just great we got everybody behind us. Now, to keep them behind you, all you have to do is win. They look good. They better play good. <laughs> In Dayton, Kentucky. That will pride on three. One, two, three. Double pride. Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Coach Montgomery says that the Local 12 story in February helped them raise about $5,000 from sources who heard about it from the website and our Facebook page.